What's up everybody, it's Nerf the Ninja here, and today I'll be showing you my top 10 order scrolls. In case you haven't seen my top 10 growth scrolls or my top 10 energy scrolls video yet, you can click the annotations on the screen to watch those as well. So in this little mini series, I showcase my opinion of the top 10 current scrolls in a faction. So the scrolls you'll see in my list are going to be scrolls that are played competitively in tournaments, in ranked matches, and if you're a new player, these are the scrolls you should be targeting to build your own competitive deck. These rankings derive from entirely my opinion alone, so in no way are they absolutely correct and you have to follow them, but I do like to think I have a very good understanding of the current game because I am a consistent, very highly ranked player and I played over 1600 matches. You may be a bit confused on how I rank these because I have some creatures with higher attacks, higher health, and lower countdown ranked higher than uh, obviously not as powerful creatures when you have them on the board. But I took into account how good the scroll is and how much of an impact it makes for its cost to play. So it's like you're getting the most bang for your buck, so that's how I ranked it. In my opinion, Order is a powerhouse of a faction. Order is filled with many knights and soldiers, which make up most of its creatures, and they are very strong and formidable. When you play against Order, you have to stay on your toes because Order possesses so many good uh, spells like Kanta Manipulation and Board Manipulation, so they can do a lot of things at once. Although Order is not very adept at board clear or removal, it is very good at ramping up its resources and it has very good card draw. Another interesting thing about Order is that it doesn't really have any strengths or weaknesses versus other factions. Unlike the other factions who have strengths and weaknesses versus each other, Order is usually on a level playing field versus any faction and you should see those Order vs. Order games. They go on a long time. It's really uh, quite a slugfest. So, and also, Order holds a special place in my heart because it was my very first faction. I got the Order Preconstruction deck way back in June, and I love it. On to the rankings. Number 10. Manganel is a three cost order structure that has three attack, three countdown, and two health. It is a lobber, which means it attacks four spaces. When Manganel comes into play, all Manganels have their countdown set to the lowest countdown of any Manganel you control. If you don't know what that means, that means, let's say you have a Manganel on your board at zero countdown, so when you end your turn, it's going to attack. If you have another Manganel or two in your hand, you can put those on the board, and they'll come in with haste, because they'll be set to the lowest countdown on your board of a Manganel, which is zero. So that's how that works. So you can go, th this card works well with more cards, so you don't want to have one in your deck, you want to have three in your deck, so then you could... Uh, put them out together and really have some nice uh, bombardment on your opponent's um, units. And the three attack is very, uh, a very good um, number for most creatures in the game. So I almost didn't want to include this on the list because it is pretty bad on its own. It's often uh, paired with speed because you can put this down, play speed, and then it has haste basically. Um, it's really, that, that combo still isn't amazing, but the reason I felt like it would be unjust to not put this on the list, because it is, Manganel is crucial to almost every, like, late game order deck, because it's the only semi-reliable way of clearing your opponent's board. Um, at the moment, you can put focus on it, so you can put, like, six damage on a hex to get, like, the Witch Doctor, the Harvester, and all that, but they are nerfing focus. Uh, so you can't put it on structures, at least they're planning on doing that. So Manganel won't be as strong, maybe we'll even fall off the list, maybe Order will get a better board clear option in the next update, but right for now, this is Order's best bet at board clear. So that's why Manganel comes in at number 10. Number 9. Ducal Skirmisher is a very good Order creature. It is for 4 cost, it has 3 attack, 2 countdown, 4 health, and it has the trait Relentless. If you know what Relentless means, it means that if uh, the if the Dougal Skirmisher or whatever the unit is that has Relentless uh, finishes attacking a unit, then it will move on to the unit behind that if it has any more extra damage. 
so it won't really be wasting damage anywhere like if a non-relentless unit like with like five attack attacks a one health creature that relentless means it would just do one damage to the one health creature just as much it needs and do th like four damage to the unit behind or the idol and just keep going so relentless is, is a very good ability and that's what really makes this scroll four costs for a three two four creature is like pretty normal maybe not great but it really gets the relentless ability and you get this guy on the board he is one of order signature units to get this guy early out and he will make sure your opponent is on his toes number eight blessing of a haste is a one cost order scroll which is very simple for one cost you just decrease the countdown of a target unit by one so if you have a unit with one uh, countdown on the board one of the creatures just put it on that and then it will attack so this is good for catching your opponent off guard gaining backboard advantage get your, getting your creatures to attack faster and then with uh, certain creatures like honorable generals and wings captains you can put them on those and make um, more than just one creature attack so blessing of haste is a very good card to have and that's why it comes at number eight number seven Royal Vanguard is a 5 cost order creature. It has 3 attack, 2 countdown, and 5 health. When his countdown becomes 0, all adjacent units next to him will get a plus 2 attack buff until end of turn. So it's like a Crimson Bull when his, uh, when his countdown equals 0. So you can put a Blessing of Haste on him to, make, to buff someone else's attack and give him attacking and he's very good for orders play style which likes to clump up its units in a giant like ball of death and then he'll buff everybody so royal vanguard is a very good scroll indeed number six royal skirmisher is a three cost order creature with three attack two captain and three health just like the ducal skirmisher it is relentless they are the exact same creature besides the ducal skirmisher is one higher costed to play and has one extra health so the reason that the Royal Skirmisher I ranked a few places higher than the Ducal Skirmisher is although they're both good creatures, I don't think one extra cost to play is worth it for the plus one health. I think a three cost, three, two, three relentless creature like this guy is just so good for the early game. You get this guy out on turn three and he's a huge threat be with that relentless damage. Four health is good because it protects against burns, kinfolk veterans, but just a, the three... Uh, Two three for three, I think, is better than a three two four for four. So that's why Royal Skirmisher is here. Number five. Wing Shield is a three cost order creature that has two attack, two countdown, and three health. As its name is Shield, it is a very powerful wall. Wing Shields has armor X, where X is the number of units behind it. So that means that. Um, if you don't know, like the Cannon Automaton and Scout Automaton, they have Armor 1, which means you do, it's the opposite of Curse, which is Armor. So that means that if you do 1 damage to them, it will do 0 damage. If you do 4 damage, it will do 3 damage. So if you have 1 unit behind this thing, it will have Armor 1, like those things, like the Cannon Automaton and Scout Automaton. And if you have 2 units behind it, which is optimal, this thing will have Armor 2, which means it will be very hard to take down unless you have a 5 attack unit. So, um, these things can be very powerful. Number four. Honorable General is a six cost order creature. It has four attack, three countdown, and six health. It is a very tanky unit, but its uh, power comes from its ability, which says, when Honorable General's countdown becomes zero, all adjacent units have their countdown decreased by two. So that means whatever is whatever your units next to this guy, uh, when this guy attacks, they all attack also. So um, if you get this guy down and put a speed on him, it's basically like a growth rally where you get all your units attacking. So um, honorable general is that guy in the middle of your uh, your order ball of death that your opponents will uh, squeal when they see him come onto the board, because then they know that all your units could attack at any moment. Number 
Speed is a very good three cost order spell. If you remember, if you remember from uh, number eight on the countdown, Blessing of Haste was a one cost spell that you decrease a unit's countdown by one. This is a three cost spell where you decrease a unit's countdown by three. So this thing can make any unit just attack and it's mainly used on mangonels or honorable generals or wings captains to make more than one unit attack so um, you want to keep these things as an order player because they have so many options you can use them on and they're so useful in uh, games so speed is amazing number two Wings Captain is a 4 cost order creature with 3 attack, 2 countdown, and 4 health. Its ability is when Wings Captain's countdown becomes 0, all adjacent soldiers have their countdown decreased by 1 and their move increased by 1 until end of turn. So, the Wings Captain is like a mini Honorable General. It has a little bit less attack, a little lower health. And it uh, only has the countdown decrease by one, but it also does the move increase by one. So I think this guy is better because he's only four costs, and when you get this guy in the board, um, you can get all of your like uh, so soldiers attacking uh, every turn if you have like blessing of haste or fleetness. So this uh, card can be amazing because, especially in like um, tempo order, aggressive order, because then you have your units like all attacking at once and you get multiple of these at the board they're so good together so um but you should know that uh wings captain is probably getting nerfed uh right now the nerf is uh the whole uh countdown decrease is gone but now he gets the move increase as well so i mean i think that's definitely a huge nerf could even knock it out of the top 10 def actually i'm leaning towards that but right now, since I'm doing this currently, right now in the game, Wings Captain is the second best order scroll because it is absolutely amazing. Number one Imperial Resources. Often dubbed Windperial Resources because oftentimes it is the only reason Order wins games. I can't imagine a more an order without this card. It's seven resources, so it's very expensive, but it is worth it, believe me. You draw two scrolls, all your idols are healed by one, all your units are healed by one, and you increase your order by one. So the more important part of that thing is the draw two scrolls and increase order by one, because you're basically wasting your turn usually to ramp up a lot. You can pass your opponent by so fast with this r increasing order by one, and you're drawing two scrolls, so you'll be able to keep second if you want, and you keep second for scrolls. So play one or two of these, and against any opponent besides another uh, Imperial Resourcing Order player, you're going to be ahead of ahead in cards and resources. But you have to play this in a moment where, like, you can. You, because it, it is wasting your turn. And the unit healing is, I guess, good, but it's really not, like, the main por point of the scroll. It does help, like, when you have something like Dying to Poison or something, or like to heal your units from like a second quake and also the idle health is actually pretty useful against things like decay to like get things off a little darkling range and stuff like that so uh and it gets you those extra resources and cards so you can like clear the board with your mangonels and then you can get right back into the game so imperial resources is great and that's why it's number one these are some scrolls that just didn't make my list so these would be the ones after my top 10. Like there's over 60 order scrolls and I whittled down to 10 and that was kind of hard so I just had to at least show these. Um, I actually meant to put Night Scholar there, it should be there. And I think with the recent buff to it that's going to happen soon, um, I think that Night Scholar will make the top 10 because uh, it's going to be only 4 cost and uh, on the only drawback is it's losing uh, 1 health. So I think. Uh, as you heard from earlier when I ranked the Royal Skirmisher ahead of the Ducal Skirmisher, I think one cost for one health is not a good trade. So I'd rather have the lower cost and lower health. So, um, yeah. So things can change uh, very soon with nerfs and buffs. So, uh, yeah. These, these uh, videos might not be relevant um, in like a month or two. But we'll see. So that was my top 10. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave a comment down below uh, saying if you uh, 
agree with me, disagree with me, and what you would change. So, if you like these kinds of videos, please leave a like and subscribe if you want more. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.